Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Listen, Christine, you cannot afford another day off. You've called in sick five times in the last three weeks. I know, Mr. Douglas, but I am really sick. Well, I want a note from the doctor on this one. And, to be honest, if this continues, we may not be able to employ you here. I understand, sir. I'll bring a doctor's note in tomorrow. I am sorry, Mr. Douglas. What's holding us back on the plant expansion project? We were supposed to see the specs on that ages ago. Why haven't I heard anything about it? Did the whole project just vanish into thin air? No, sir. The plant expansion project has been delayed. There was a snag up in the fling process to get the necessary construction permits. It seems that the property we were slated to build on is also habitat for some endangered indigenous species. You're joking, right? No wonder we've been tied up with this project. I know the environmental impact statement will take forever to get approval if they've found anything endangered on the site. Are they positive there is evidence of endangered species actually living there? The Environmental Review Board has a team on it now. Hopefully we'll know more by the end of the week. Welcome to our factory. My name is Tiong Had and I'll show you around here. First we'll take a look at the workshop which produces food thermometers. Please, this way. Has all the work done by men been replaced by automatic computers? Yes, it has. Excuse me, what is this? This is a circuit board. Are the batteries in it made by your people? No, they are from other factories. What kind of battery is it? It is lithium which can be used for over three years. How do you do? How do you do? My name is Wang Liang. I'm from Beijing. Where do you come from? I come from the city of Tongshan in Hebei's province. You're from Tongshan? I can't believe my ears. I was also born in Tongshan, but I was brought up in Beijing. Really? It's nice to meet you. How long have you been with this company? Just over four years now. Since this is your first day here, I'm sure you don't really know too much yet. Let me show you around, so you can introduce yourself to everyone. Oh, thank you very much. You must like negotiating a lot. People are saying, you are a super negotiator. Ha, huh, I am flattered. Actually, when it comes to negotiate, you don't need to like it. You just need to understand how it works. I am not good at it by any means. Give me some advice. Well, generally speaking, if you want to change someone's mind or understand his position, you have to put yourself in his shoes. Understand his need and the cost for his need. And then you work together to find a solution. Sounds easy. But how can I apply to practice? I am thinking about applying for more reimbursement for my mobile bill. But I am afraid our boss will turn me down. Okay. As John after Kennedy put it, let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. The James's file, Christine? I had it right here a minute ago, Mr. Emery. Um, just a minute. Christine, I know you're new here and there's a lot to learn, but you are going to have to learn to keep your work in better order. 
We can't afford to lose an important document. Yes, sir. I apologize for that. Here's the file you were looking for, Mr. Emery. I've been working hard for a whole year. I really need a break. That's true. You need to take some time off to relax. You said it. I'm looking forward to my annual vacation. When are you going to take your vacation? Later this month. I can't wait. I really envy you. You know I'm not taking my vacation until December. Vince, we're both busy, so I'm not going to beat around the bush. I need a raise. I can't do that, Zena. You know I can't. Bull, I are done my research. I know you still control more than 65% of invoking options. Who told you that? That doesn't matter. I want at least 4%. I have just received your note which informs me that you have offered the accountant position to another candidate. May I ask why I was defeated? We have thought of you carefully with discretion, but the other candidate has more experiences. Experience is important, but don't you think capability is more valuable than that? Yes, I think so. But how do you prove to me that you are more capable? Maybe you can hire me on trial. If I'm not qualified for the job, you can let me go. Good idea. Good afternoon, CCL Press. Jenny speaking. How can I help you? Good afternoon. I'm looking for Mr. Alert Lee. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Lee is in a meeting right now. Can I take a message? Sure. This is Nigel Smith, his personal banker. Could you ask him to return my call? Nigel Smith, does he have your number, Mr. Smith? It's 2,781,7031. 2,781,7031. Sure. I'll make sure he gets the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Good morning, sir. Please know some about our latest products. These are your products? They are our products. Please come in and have a look. This is the catalog for our products. May I have your name card? I am always concerned about the newest computer. Of course, here you are. Thank you. Would you sit down and write down your name and address here? Okay. Would you like to recommend some for our reference? This is the latest design for our products. The design of i-Series keeps the fashion in a close way. The sales volume of the new product is about 50,000 per month. And we received many orders from many clothes companies. New functions and attractive outlook are the key points for our products. Julia, I would like to have a word with you. Have a seat. Thank you. According to your performance, I decided to give you a salary increase. From next month, there will be a 2,000 yuan raise to your salary. Although your first raise might not sound considerable, the company believes that with your ability, sooner or later you'll get a better raise. Thank you very much. Mr. George, as a newcomer, I understand that you have your consideration and I am satisfied with the raise. I think you deserved this. Thank you again. I'll keep doing my best. Tomorrow is my day off. I wonder if it's convenient to change our appointment from tomorrow to next Wednesday, still at the same time. 
I'm afraid I won't be free next week. It's a shame. Will this afternoon be all right? But I can only spare you an hour and a half today, from four o'clock. That's okay. What kind of qualities should a secretary have? First, she needs to be hardworking. Second, she has to be able to do a lot OT things on her own initiative. I am diligent and hardworking. Besides, I am good at both English and Italian. Great. We will give you a chance to have an interview in our company. This facility is great, don't you think? Yes, it is better than last year. They have done a very good job this time. I'm glad our booth is on the first floor. More people can see our display. If someone wants to find us, they can look at this floor plan. It shows where all the companies have their booths. Let me see that. I didn't get one when I came in. Really? They didn't give you one with your ticket? No. That's strange. Where do you go for lunch around here? Are you hungry? Not too bad, but I will be soon. I went across the street. There is a good Chinese restaurant next to the hotel. I can't see Cortex on this floor plan. Don't they have a booth here? They must. Let me look at that. Here it is. Cortex. It's on the second floor, next to the roll booth. Oh, that will be uncomfortable for them. For whom? Cortex? Yes. Cortex just stole Darren McDowell from Rowley. And probably Darren will be here. So he will have to spend the whole show standing next to his old Cortex co-workers. I've never met Darren, but you're right. That would probably be uncomfortable. When you reserve a booth, you should check who your neighbors will be. Don't you think? Yes, maybe. If you're Darren McDowell, you should probably check. Yes. Well... I think I'll go get lunch. Will you join me? No, I'll stay here at the booth. I ate earlier. Are you going to the Chinese restaurant? Maybe. I will look around. Print shop. Seam speaking. Hi, Sean. It's Mary in Mr. Emery's office. I placed an order for 1,000 bound copies of a staff manual last week. It usually takes two to three weeks to complete a job like that. Well, I was hoping you would do me a big favor. That was supposed to be a rush order. I forgot to tell you. I'm getting a lot of flack from my boss. Hello. You have reached the offices of Maddox and McKnight. Can I help you? Yes, my name is Max Richards. May I please speak to George Nelson? I have already called several times. It seems I always catch him out of the office. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Nelson is away at the moment. I'm sorry that you keep missing him while he is out of the office. Would you like to leave a message? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you clearly. Could you repeat that, please? Certainly. Mr. Nelson cannot take your call at the moment because he is away. He stepped out of the office for the whole afternoon and is not expected back until tomorrow morning. His schedule is very unpredictable at times, so the best way to reach him is to first make an appointment by email or text messaging. Can I leave a message for him, please? Of course. Can you leave your name and number? I'm sure Mr. Nelson will return your call as soon as he is able. My name is Max Richards, 
my phone number is 898-3423. Could you ask him to call me back as soon as he gets back, please? I have a rather timely matter to discuss with him. Can you tell me what it's about? I can make a note of it, so Mr. Nelson is aware and prepared when he returns your call. Yes, please let him know I would like to discuss the Girard case with him. I want to see the man responsible for selling typewriters. My name is Stephen. I'm the sales manager of this company. Well, look here. Ten new typewriters were delivered to my company yesterday afternoon and only five of them work properly. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Never mind being sorry. What are you going to do about it? Don't worry. We'll soon fix them. Good. I hope you'll make sure that it won't happen again. I'll certainly look into that. Thank you. Goodbye. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.